Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, this feels really weird to be doing right now because I haven't talked to you guys in like almost two months now, which is kind of crazy. Um, I'll get into that in a little bit, but hi, welcome back. Um, I missed you guys so much. I thought it'd be fun to turn the camera on today and do just a little very casual get ready with me. Um, those are always like such a fun, easy thing to watch and like you can get ready with me, turn this video on as you're doing your makeup, doing your hair, whatever you want. And I just thought it would be a great video to kind of come back, say hi, I'm back. Um, I don't fully know what this whole video is gonna be, maybe a little bit of a vlog. It might just be a get ready with me. Kind of depends on what I all want to do. Okay, before we get too far into like getting ready because I tend to forget to talk when I do my makeup, so I'm gonna kind of talk a little bit, start doing my makeup, but I did take a little bit of a break. I came back to Instagram a couple days ago and kind of explained a few things. If you follow me on Instagram, I did a little Q&A just to kind of say where I've been. Um, November through January were pretty hard on me, so I just thought it would be best for me to take a break and I think that was like one of the best decisions ever because it not only just like helped me to kind of reset, be a little more present, um, but it also helped me to realize like how much I love doing YouTube and Instagram and creating content and how much I missed it. So I feel like that was really important for me to understand and realize how much I actually really love doing this because it's such a good creative outlet for me. I don't mean this to be like super dark or anything. I'm just being honest, but there were so many times where I wanted to turn on the camera and just vlog a day in my life and just kind of get a video out there so that I was still posting and creating content for you guys. Um, but it's hard to just like look at the camera and pretend to be happy and to be all smiley and bubbly when you don't feel like that at all. And I think that was really important for me to kind of understand that it's okay. I don't need to turn on the camera. This is something that I love to do for fun and I don't want it to be like a chore or a job that I just need to get a video out there because that's not what this is for me. So I've been looking into a lot more like clean makeup, clean beauty products, and I found the brand Ilia. Um, I think you can only get it at Sephora. I guess I'm not really sure. They have their own website, but I got some products from them and I've been trying them out and I really, really love them. They look so nice on my skin. They're so natural looking on your skin also. Like your skin still looks like skin when you're putting makeup on, which is so amazing and I love that. Um, so I have a couple products from them that I wanted to try out today. Oh, hi! Do you want to say hi? You guys haven't seen Ivy in a very long time. She is all grown up now. She's almost 11 months old, which is insane. Oh, hi! Did you want to say hi? Hi! Do you want to sit with mom? Oh, he's so nice. He's so nice. Do you want to do your makeup with me? Okay, let's get started. So, the first product from Ilia that I picked up was their Super Serum Skin Tint SPF 40. I think this is like my new favorite makeup product. It applies so easily, looks so good on your skin, and they have a lot of different shades. Ivy is drinking water, hopefully you can't hear that. Um, the shade I have is ST8 Shella, I believe is how you pronounce it. I just apply a little bit on my forehead. I don't like a lot of makeup on my forehead. So I just like to start with a brush and just kind of start blending it out. You can see like it just blends so nicely in my skin. I recently tried waxing in my eyebrows at home for the first time. Um, I can't remember the last time I actually got them like waxed in a salon. It didn't go bad, like I didn't like, I obviously didn't like wax off my entire eyebrow, but maybe it's the type of wax that I use, but like it just didn't harden correctly. And so I had so much like just sticky wax left on my skin and I had to like rip it off and it like didn't do a whole lot. And I have like little scabs on my eyebrows, so. Maybe I'll try it again. I don't know if I just didn't let the wax cool enough. 
So then I take a Real Technique sponge and then I just kind of go and press the rest of the product in my skin. Next, I'm taking the Ilia True Skin Serum Concealer. This is like one of their lightest shades. It's 0.5 Arrowroot. I got this to go like under my eyes as like a nice brightening concealer. So far, I'm really liking this concealer. I just take a little mini beauty sponge and dab it out. It just like totally brightens up your entire eye area and it blends out so nicely. My skin has been so dry lately, it's really annoying. <laughs> so I have two different shades of their concealer. This is the lighter one, this is the darker one. I also have the shade 1.5 Suma. So I'm just gonna put this on like any darker spots on my face that need a little bit of help. I also picked up the Ilia Lip Wrap Lip Balm and it is amazing i don't even know what else to say it's so good i think it's it is just so smooth and moisturizing i almost like it better than the laneige lip mask and i've been using that for like two years now but this is so good i don't like to set my entire face of makeup just because i like a little bit of dewiness but i will set just under my eyes so that that doesn't crease at all just helps my skin look a little bit more hydrated and dewy because it's not right now <laughs> next a bronzer you guys already know I'm using my hula bronzer by benefit this is my favorite on to eyebrows i am going to be showing you guys a new eyebrow product that i got but first I'm just going to lightly fill them in I don't want to like fully fill them in just because I've been loving the look of just like supernatural just like fluffy brows okay the new brow product that I have been obsessed with lately is the Anastasia brow freeze I know it's like sold out everywhere I thankfully got it before everyone started freaking out about it and I totally understand why everyone is freaking out about it because it's amazing. I have a little bent spoolie here and I'm just kind of take a little bit of product. You want to be careful you're not grabbing too much just because then, you know, you can get some product buildup on your eyebrows and that is not cute. I take a little bit and just start brushing my hairs upwards. Thankfully, this product doesn't like dry super quick so you can kind of work with it a little bit. It just like gives you that perfect like boy brow fluffy brow but I will leave all the products that I'm using linked down below so you can check them out but whether you have super fluffy brows or thinner brows I think this is such a good product to try out highly recommend I got a little mini sample of the Ilia I think it's their like balmy gloss tinted lip oil this is in the shade only you I know for sure I'm already gonna buy the full size because it is like the most natural lip oil and it's like almost the exact same shade as my lips and it's so pretty so now that makeup is all done there is one more thing that I kind of wanted to update you guys on um, I've thought of different ways to kind of tell you guys this um, I didn't want it to be like this big deal or anything where I do like a whole video dedicated to it um, Basically, I got diagnosed with a autoimmune disease, um, which wasn't surprising to me. I kind of knew in the back of my head that I had it, but I just finally went to my doctor and they referred me to a dermatologist and they confirmed it, which still kind of sucks. It was just kind of like a you know like oh shit I have to deal with this for the rest of my life now so basically I have a skin condition called vitiligo um, it's a skin pigment disorder if you want to look into it further you can just google it I'm not gonna like try and tell you all the facts because I don't know all the facts there obviously isn't like a cure for it there's certain things that they have found that can help but for me i started noticing it on my fingertips a couple years ago in the summertime when i would get really tan i noticed that like the tips of my fingers would turn white um my thumb is like you can kind of you can kind of see like on my thumb there's different pigments 
but basically I noticed that it started there I didn't really think anything of it I just thought it's normal whatever I didn't really care and then I ended up getting a chemical burn from a natural deodorant that I tried probably a little over a year ago now and that alone was so painful I found a natural deodorant that works for me now but I tried one like a year ago and it gave me like a chemical burn and it was really really bad and after that healed I noticed I was left with like no skin pigmentation on my underarms and it like went from here all the way like it there's like large spots I noticed I started getting that and then it started kind of growing and the spots were getting bigger and I was like okay this is kind of concerning and weird um, and then I noticed I started getting a spot on my elbow here, which has actually gotten a lot better But I started noticing that and I was like, okay, this is getting really weird considering it's starting to get to other parts of my body and I didn't know if it was going to flare up on my face on my knees I know it's really common on like your elbows and your knees um, So I finally went to a dermatologist and they're like, yep, you have it um there's a couple treatments we can do, but there's obviously not like a cure to just like get your pigment back, which really sucks. <laughs> um, I'm just really thankful that I don't have it yet. Hopefully I don't ever get it on my face um, because that's obviously a lot harder to control with being in the sun because being in the sun obviously makes your pigment change. So in the summertime, my spots get super white and then in the winter time they turn a little bit more pink anyway so I was offered like I could do different light therapy options which are you know really expensive or I could try doing like a steroid treatment and I chose doing the steroid treatment just because um, I'm getting married in June and I'm hoping to kind of clear it up a little bit. Obviously, I'm not expecting miracles because I know it's never gonna fully go away, but I know like confidence-wise, I would feel a lot better if it got just a little bit better. Maybe in the future, I will try the light therapy treatment option, but for now, I'm on the steroid. Yeah, that kind of sucked to figure that out and realize that this is something I have to kind of worry about and deal with the rest of my life. And my main concern was actually like, is this something I can pass down to my kids? Because obviously I don't want to have something like this passed down to them and for them to have to worry about it. You know, my doctor reassured me that it's not necessarily a genetic thing, but it does run in families, which I found really interesting because I started asking like my grandparents, aunts, if they know of anyone like alive or in the past who has had something like this and no one could think of anything so I'm very curious as to kind of how this happened but I wanted to tell you guys about it because I feel like in the future I'll talk about it or you might notice some spots and ask about it I didn't want to make it like a super big deal and like do like a whole video like oh my god I have autoimmune disease because it's not that big of a deal it felt like a big deal when I first got diagnosed with it because I was like, this really sucks. But now I'm kind of dealing with it and learning to be okay with it. So I don't really see it as a big deal anymore, which is really good. Moving on. So I think the rest of the day I am kind of getting back into content stuff and working on my schedule for that and replying to emails. So I might do a little bit of that. Miss Ivy needs a bath tonight. I haven't told her yet yeah so I will just kind of take you guys through my day this is like I said a super chill vlog so yeah let's just get on with the rest of our day
Hi. <laughs> you are so good. Hi, girl. Hi, girl. <laughs> what? Good morning guys it is the next day you guys just saw i made a yummy coffee and then kurt made me a really good breakfast sandwich and some breakfast potatoes so good and we have been packing the whole morning to head up north we're heading up north for the weekend which i am so excited for because i feel like we just really needed a fun little getaway change of scenery change of routine um, we're going up there for some ski races, so we're hanging out with some family friends. Super excited to see them. We haven't seen them in quite a while, so it'll be really fun. And I actually had a couple extra minutes to shoot some content this morning. Um, I was planning to just do it next week, but I was like, I have a couple minutes right now, so that's why I'm like wearing makeup. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have worn any makeup because we have a five-hour road trip ahead of us. Um, but shot some content so I can kind of edit that and go through that in the car, reply to some emails that I have to do today yet because it's actually Thursday, so it's still middle of the week technically, still have some work to do. Um, but yeah, I will probably be ending off the vlog here soon, um, but I did want to show you guys, the lighting's really bad, I did want to show you guys a couple things I've been getting in from Amazon. Okay, I am currently sitting on the floor, but I thought this was the best lighting. So from Amazon, I've been getting a few things in the mail. Um, sometimes I really like random jewelry pieces I can find on Amazon because, you know, they're cute, trendy pieces. I don't want to be spending like hundreds of dollars on a nice gold piece when I know I'm probably not going to be wearing it in a few years. Um, so this first thing is a little necklace that just has an S on it. I've been eyeing something like this for a while now and I found this one and it's so pretty. I think it's like a 22 inch chain and you can actually change this out so I can easily put a different charm on it which I think is really cool. Okay and then the other piece of jewelry I just got in is, a... wait five minutes okay, then we can have playtime. Okay, so the other jewelry piece that I got in is this ring. Let's see if it'll focus. It's really pretty. I love the detailing on it, and I just wear it on this hand with my engagement ring, and I think it looks really, really pretty. Also, I will be linking everything down below so you can check it out as well. Um, and then the other thing that I wanted to show you was this workout set. I have seen so many people talking about Amazon workout sets, but I just haven't found a good one that is going to be like long lasting so obviously this isn't like lululemon or anything but the quality still feels pretty similar um <laughs> okay so the sports bra super cute it's that long line um i love the pattern of it it's like a dusty rose brown kind of color and then the back is super cute it's got this crisscross detail to it um, I got a size medium. I actually haven't tried this stuff on yet, but I'm going to be bringing it with me this weekend for if we go skiing or snowshoeing. And then for leggings, these are the leggings that I have seen so many people talk about. Julia Havens has talked about these. Um, this is the brand CRZ Yoga, same with the sports bra. This is their just like naked feeling pant. Um, I got a size small, which is like a four to six. So it's like this really pretty brown color 7 8 length and these pair together so perfectly and I think Amazon is a great place for getting like cute inexpensive workout sets but yeah I will keep you guys updated on kind of how they hold up and maybe I will try some other pieces out are you getting all stingy <laughs> are 
What do you think? <laughs> okay, guys, so I'm going to... Okay, I'm going to end off the vlog here. We're going to finish getting ready and packing up for the weekend. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. I'm super excited to be back and filming content for you guys. So make sure to hit the subscribe button, follow me on Instagram. Again, I'll leave the Amazon stuff linked down below as well as the stuff that I mentioned yesterday in the get ready with me. I'll link all that stuff down below as well. So hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.